Hello, real life fans. Welcome to the vlog today. Today, we are going to be going over my 38 week pregnancy update as well as some QA. We have Abigail here. Are you going to labor? Not yet, honey. She asked if I was going into labor. I'm doing the vlog right now. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to make this super fast because I had so many questions come flooding in about my pregnancy and what's going on. I had some really great questions that I'm really looking forward to answering. So without further ado, let's get on with 38 weeks being pregnant. I am 38 weeks pregnant today. I can't believe it. We've made it this far. At this point, I could go into labor at any time and they're not going to stop it. And that is really exciting. Our sweet baby girl, Valerie, should be here very, very soon and we're getting so excited. Um, I don't really have much to update other than um, right after I did the vlog last week for my 37 week update, I had a little bit of a bloody show, which um, you can feel free to Google and look at. But basically when your cervix starts to dilate, um, the cervix dilating is a long process, and so you could be dilated to a one, two, or three for many weeks before you go into labor. Um, and so I had a little bit of very, very, very light spotting that morning right after I did the vlog, um, and I thought maybe I would be going into labor. We'll see, uh, but it was a false alarm. I wound up being really crampy, but I put up my feet, drank some water, and that went away. The only other thing is the last few days, my hands and feet... Um, I'm kind of starting to feel the swelling a little bit, but it is still very mild. It's one of those things where I can feel in my skin, but I'm not really too concerned about it. I don't know if you can see my hands. They do look a little puffy just through here. And you can see before I couldn't even fit into my bands and now they look, <laughs> they look pretty snug. Um, so I'm starting to feel the swelling just a little bit, but um, not anything too much to complain about. So let's get on with some of your questions. So when is the soonest you can tell you are pregnant? It's different for every single woman. Some women, they know right away and they just have this intuition and know that they're pregnant. Some women don't. Some women, um, I don't know if you've ever seen some of the videos, I didn't know I was pregnant, but some women can get all the way up into labor and not even know that they were pregnant the whole time. So what's the soonest you can tell? Technically with a pregnancy test, I want to say some of them, the earliest it will let you know is, I want to say it's seven days after intercourse or something like that. But for me, I waited until I had missed my period and then I waited another seven days to take a test with my son and my daughter. With this baby though, I waited, I wanna say I was late about three days because I just was like, I'm just kind of feeling funny. Um, something's different, something's strange. And we were convinced that we were not pregnant because we were told by doctors we couldn't have any more kids. So um, I did find out, I wanna say it was three days after my missed period. So it just depends on the woman, depends on the test. Depends on how many hormones you have in your body, so um, a lot of it just depends. How long can you tell before it's a boy or a girl? So actually, they can tell pretty soon with the technology that we have. I want to say it's about, hmm, I want to say 10 or 12 weeks with a blood test. They can tell pretty quickly, but a lot of insurance companies don't really cover that, and so a lot of times women don't find out the gender of the baby until 20 weeks at their anatomy ultrasound. The anatomy ultrasound is just where they measure all of the baby's organs, bones, brain, heart, making sure everything looks good and normal. And at that point, you usually find the gender. With this one, we did decide to do a genetic screening. So I want to say I found out with her, I don't know, you'd have to look through my videos for our gender reveal. I want to say I was about 16 weeks, maybe 17. So I did get, did get to find out a little bit sooner than Connor and Abigail. Um, but depending on your insurance or what you want to do or what you want to pay, you can find out a lot sooner because the gender of the baby, whether it's boy or girl, is determined very, I mean like immediately within your body. So it doesn't change, it doesn't go back and forth. Once the genetics are displayed, that's it. That's, that's the gender of the baby. Um, do all women get morning sickness? So this is a very controversial topic because I don't believe it should be called morning sickness. It should be called pregnancy sickness because number one, no, not all women get morning sick. 
Some women can go their entire pregnancy and not have any nausea whatsoever. Some women just get sick at night. Some women just get sick in the afternoon. And a lot of people think it's just in the morning and it's just first trimester. That is also not true. Sometimes you can have it all three trimesters. Sometimes you won't have any first or third trimester, but you'll have it all of second trimester. So it really just depends on your body and how your body's handling the hormones because that's where the nausea comes from. Your body is flooded with new hormones and that's what makes you nauseous. That's just the result of the hormones being flooded through your body. Um, so for me, it was different each pregnancy. Um, I had very, very mild nausea my first trimester. And then this last trimester, I've actually been pretty sick at night. So I usually will stop eating around five or six. And um, if I do eat at night, it's usually crackers or bread, rice, bananas, you know, something really light that my body can digest. Do all women crave the same foods? No. <laughs> some women don't have any cravings. And some women have cravings, like crazy cravings. Um, and it just depends, honestly, on what your baby needs and what your body needs. And with different trimesters, I've been craving different things. So far, this third trimester, the only thing I've been craving and really, really wanting has been McDonald's chicken nuggets. <laughs> sure, honey, that's fine. So, McDonald's chicken nuggets. But second trimester, all I wanted was chocolate donuts. So it just kind of depends on what your body needs. Everybody craves something different. Does heartburn mean the baby has a lot of hair? That is a wives' tale, but I'm not too sure. I haven't done research to see if there's any validity to that. I did have horrible heartburn with my son and with my daughter. Both had a ton of hair, so that would prove true for that. With this baby, I haven't had any acid reflux or any heartburn, uh, so we'll have to see if she comes out with a lot of hair or is totally bald. I don't know, um, but we'll see. Is my belly soft or firm? It depends on if I'm contracting or not. Uh, so right now there is a good pliable squish. I don't know if I can show you this, but okay. Look at that belly. Holy moly. So there is a good uh, squish for about, I don't know, half an inch before you hit like solid baby. And then it also depends too. Like you can see, I, it's not giving as much right here because there's a body right there. So it just kind of depends where the baby is sitting in terms of whether your belly is soft or firm. And then of course with Brax Braxton Hicks, your belly feels really rock hard solid because you're feeling that uterus tighten. Um, and so it's very, very firm. Does it hurt my belly to poke my belly or bump it? Not necessarily, no. Sometimes it hurts if I'm leaning over something like a cup and the cup has been sitting like in one spot for a while. I'm like, oh, okay, that was uncomfortable. If I push on it, does the baby move? Yes. So when you push on it, even just now, the baby was moving as I was pushing on my belly. How big is baby measuring? Right now I am 38 weeks and she is measuring 38 weeks. So she is measuring right on schedule. Um, does it hurt when the baby moves? Not necessarily. Sometimes it gets very uncomfortable depending on where the baby's sitting. So right now Valerie is head down. And so sometimes her elbows and arms will run across the inside of my cervix. And that is very uncomfortable and surprising. So it will kind of like make me jump and go, oh, <laughs> um, but it doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just more uncomfortable um, depending on how she moves and how she kicks. I wouldn't say pain. I would just say discomfort, if that makes any sense, or um, some maybe intense pressure, if that makes sense. Do I look bigger from the side or from the front? I don't know. Let's see. I don't think I look that big from the front at all because you can kind of still see my hourglass shape a little bit there. But then as soon as I turn, it's like, ba-bam, there's, there's a big old belly here. So I think I look bigger from the side, but you can be the judge of that. Vote down below. What do you think, front or side? Uh, let's see here. Where is the baby positioned? As of right now, she is, again, I don't know how well I can show you this, but she is head down. So her head is right down here. Her body is moving up along here. So we've got like hip and butt here. And then her legs come around here and her arms are just kind of in the middle. So that's where she's positioned right now. Um, but that can change all during third trimester. So you never know. What is my stretch mark routine? I actually don't have one. Because when you do research on stretch marks and what, what they are and how to prevent them and all that stuff, technically there is no way to prevent stretch marks and there is no way to get rid of stretch marks. Stretch marks are totally 100% completely genetic. So if your parents got stretch marks and your mom had stretch marks with you, odds are you're going to get stretch marks too. It's totally genetic. Um, I did try doing some oils like um, shea butters and stuff with my son, but I got stretch marks so bad with him that it was just, there's no point. 
I do um, every time I get out of the shower, just because I have chronic dry skin anyway, and it's winter and it's Michigan, um, I put coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil all over my skin from the neck down. And that really helps my skin, but that doesn't do anything for the stretch marks because again, stretch marks are purely and completely genetic. There's nothing you can do about them. Um, have I ever gotten comments about my belly or my weight from strangers? Believe it or not, I haven't. <laughs> um, I haven't. So I'm just one of those people. Have you? Let me know in the comments below what, what was said to you and uh, how, did, how did you respond? What were your thoughts on that? Can I use my belly as a table? Yes. Yes, I can. If I'm sitting straight up, though, because the angle is so low down um, or because it's such a low incline of an angle. I don't know if I can show you guys this. I can't really use it as a table. But when I recline in my chair, I can recline and I will set like my bowl of soup or ice cream or whatever I happen to be eating. I will set that there and use it like as a little prop. So, yes, you can use your belly as a table. Some women, though, depending on if the baby's dropped or not, they stick out a lot further and they can walk around with like a drink sitting on their belly. I've never been able to do that, but some women can. Um, does my belly hang? Yes, mostly because the baby has dropped already. So my belly is a lot lower, so my belly's hanging a lot more. Also, and I'll show you this in a little bit because I know you guys have been wanting to see my actual bare belly with the stretch marks and all, so get ready for a treat. Um, I do have a little bit of extra flabby skin down at the bottom of my belly because I lost so much weight before this pregnancy. So I've got like this little extra, you'll see, I have extra skin, but yes, my belly does hang. It is hanging. Um, let's see. Can we see baby move? Yes. I will put in a clip right here where you can see baby move. I drink water can you hear it sloshing around um yes and no I wouldn't say it's any different than when you're pregnant or not if you drink a lot of water and like you tend to like go jogging or something you can kind of hear that water slosh um it's the same being pregnant there's no change or difference there you might get a little nauseous though <laughs> just because there's not a lot of space in there especially when you're as big as I am uh does the baby move when we talk to her sometimes yes I haven't noticed with Valerie that much that she's been moving when we talk to her. She moves more when she feels like it or if we kind of poke her to wake her up, like move the belly around. Um, but I have noticed, and this is very strange because, you know, we're very open about our faith. When we go to prayer nights, she moves so much during prayers. Like when the prayers get started or if we're all going up to pray over somebody, she moves a lot during prayer night, which is really, really cool. Um, does the belly move if you push it side to side? Yes. Let's see again if I can get that for you. I'm trying to get up. So you can actually see here, I'm kind of pushing it and I'm kind of lifting her up a little bit. So you can actually, it's a very pliable of a belly, which is good and normal. That is a good, normal, healthy baby. So yes, my belly does move if I push it side to side. Does my belly get in the way? Yes. <laughs> that is probably my number one complaint as of right now. Uh, my belly gets in the way of everything. I can't bend over. I can't like, I can like this is about as far as I can go. <laughs> I don't go any further. Um, so yes, I'm really looking forward to having my body back just a little bit more and being able to put on my own shoes and put lotion on my feet and do my toenails and stuff like that. Um, can I do a belly roll? No, <laughs> because a belly roll is if, if your whole body is holding still and your belly is just moving, um, that's a lot that has to do with the muscles. And no, there's such a solid baby right there. That's not going to happen. Can I move my body in like a body roll? Yes. But my belly is staying right where it is. It's not going anywhere. Do I look bigger sitting or standing? Honestly, I feel a huge either way. So I don't know. There's one way or another. Do I feel bigger sitting or standing? I can't. I feel like sometimes when I'm sitting, I can hide it more. And when I'm standing and walking around, it's just kind of right there in front of me. So do I have space at the top of my bump? Yes, I did not before though, before she dropped. So towards the end of your pregnancy, your baby will drop. And as you can see here, there's almost like this little piece of fabric, you can tell in my dress, that's a little bit looser. 
because I have a little bit of room there because she has now dropped and the top of my uterus is maybe right here. Whereas before, I mean, it's way up into your rib cage. So she has dropped pretty low. And um, when the baby drops, sometimes you will find that you can breathe a little bit better because now you have a little bit of space there. So before she dropped, I did not, but since she's dropped, yes, I do have a little bit of space. Is it easier to push on the top or the side of the belly? Um, in terms of easier to push on, it depends where the baby's sitting. The sides have a little bit more give, depending on where the baby's sitting. And on top, the baby just tends to be more protruding right now, so it feels like harder to push on. Um, but in terms of effort-wise and pushing it, it's the same, if that makes sense. Has the baby dropped? Yes, she has. Has my belly button popped? No, but I can show you that here in a minute. Can I suck in my belly and push it out? Yes and no, <laughs> because there's still a baby there even though I have muscles on the outside. So let's see if I can show you a little bit. I'm gonna try to tilt this down a little bit more so I can show you. Um, let's see, so I wanna show you my belly button. So my belly button, ready? Ready to see the big old belly? Here it is, and as you can see all of my wonderful beautiful stretch marks from all my other pregnancies and then down here we can see I try to hide it but there's extra skin down here just from losing weight that I just try to hide um, so I have all kinds of stretch marks very white belly my belly button has not popped per se but it has gotten let's see if I can show you a little bit better um, this is the most protruded my belly button has ever been it is very flat let me see if I can um, to turn this around for you and try to show you from this angle so you can kind of see sometimes when I look down I can see just this little tiny bump it's not gonna focus on it now yeah you can kind of see it right there yep there it is where it pops out just a little bit so it has not necessarily popped out um, just because I'm a bigger girl anyway but because I've had so much weight loss my belly button is very flat um, can I suck in my belly? No, but I can contract my muscles there and you can see the muscles contracting but they only go so far because I have a baby there. All right, last few questions and we're going to wrap it up here. Um, does, does it sound like a drum if you pat on the belly? No, because a drum is hollow and your belly is not. It is full of baby and water and placenta and all that fun stuff. So it would sound the same as if like you smacked your thigh. It just sounds like you're hitting skin, if that makes sense. So no, it does not sound like a drum because it is not hollow in there. Um, does my bump make any sounds? So this is interesting. I've never looked into it, but every once in a while I can hear this like light clicking, almost as if if you are walking and your ankle pops or something, like that kind of strange joint popping. Um, sometimes I can hear that in my belly. I don't know if that's a thing. I've never looked into it, but sometimes I can hear that clicking or that popping. And the last question, last one. So we won't have to do a two-parter, which is exciting, although I maybe should have done a two-parter. Um, does the baby ever make my bump look lopsided? And again, I got a video of that, so I'm going to put that in here.
so as you can see in that video, depending on where the baby sits, um, usually my belly is pretty, it's pretty symmetrical, if that makes sense. But as the baby moves and shifts, you kind of could see my belly coming out right there. Right there where the belly was coming out and sticking out, that was her back. She was kind of pushing against my insides and her back was coming out. And it does make your belly look very lopsided, but that's usually only when the baby is moving or repositioning. It's not a constant thing where you're walking around with like this strange lumpy belly. It's usually pretty, pretty round and symmetrical. All right, I hope that was fun and that was informative. Um, I have had a few people ask me if I would write some stuff on my belly. <laughs> we'll have to see um, about that because I have no idea when I'm gonna go blah, 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 when I'm gonna go into labor. So I'm really excited about that because you never know. Any day now, one of these vlogs could be us going into labor and uploading our video of baby Valerie being born. With that being said, uh, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any time we post a new video. God bless and bye.